Hi and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today we're exploring the ultimate battle, winter versus summer hair care and how these two seasons throw some serious curveballs at our hair. But before we get into the logic, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Imagine a winter wonderland and a blazing summer day. While both seasons have their own charm, they, they can play tricks on our curly hair. So how do we keep our curls looking fabulous all year long? Stay tuned to find out. When winter comes up, curls start drooping. It's a very difficult time for our curls. And it's only because the air that's so dry, it saps up whatever moisture is there in your hair. That's why cream products come in. The creamy products like this keep your hair hydrated, fights off the winter dryness and keeps your hair curly and bouncy. Fast forward to the summer and it's a whole different ball game. The sun is out, the heat is on and our curls are soaking it all up. The problem here is frizziness. Your hair becomes frizzy within seconds in the summertime. That's where our trusty gels come in. Gel is like our summer superhero. It gives the curls the definition it craves. Standing tall against the humidity and maintaining fabulous shape even in the hot summer day. That's how my 1 to 3 gel came about. The 1 to 3 gel method which brought so much joy in our curly hair community was created years ago. It has been amazing to see the love and the appreciation for the method over the years. But I noticed some confusion lately. It's important to understand the method, the 1 to 3 gel method was originally developed for the summer season and it's not meant for overusing hair gels. Instead, it involves strategically layering three gels but in the same amounts that you would usually use. So let's clear up any misunderstanding and appreciate the method's true intent. Knowledge is power when it comes to embracing your curly hair. So embrace knowledge, not misinformation. Remember to read the full feature on the world-renowned curly hair website naturallycurly.com and also on my website honestlist.com. Now here's the real question. Why use creamy hair products, more creamy hair products in the winter time or use more gel in the summertime? There are many reasons for people to use more creamy things in the winter time and more gel in the summertime. But let me break it down for you. In winter, the air is drier, colder and that makes our hair dry really fast and scalp even flaky. Creamy products are more moisturizing and hydrating which is exactly what our hair needs in the winter time. Creams tend to be thicker and heavier, which causes a barrier between your hair and the environment and prevents moisture loss. Creams also protect our hair in the harsh environment. In the summer, the air is more humid. There's more moisture in the air already. Gel products are lighter, making them the perfect choice for summer days. If you follow the Curly Girl method and are using safe curly hair products, then curly friendly hair gels are typically water based. That means your hair absorbs the gel faster and is hydrated faster in the summertime. That's ideal for someone who doesn't want greasy, heavy feeling icky hair in the summertime if you're using more creams in the summertime. So whether you love hair creams or whether you prefer hair gels, it's important to note the weather before you choose your curly hair products also. It's all about adapting to the elements, my curl friends. Creams lock in the moisture while gels hold the curls and prevent frizz. It's like a dynamic duo. You can use them each in isolation or use them together like layered cream and gel for a dynamic combination. There you have it. The winter versus summer showdown. Remember to pamper your curls with creamy products to fight the winter dryness and remember to use more gel in the summertime to fight frizz in, during the hot days. If you found this video insightful, remember to give it a thumbs up and comment below with your go-to summer or winter hair care tips. Thanks for tuning in and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and follow me for more curl-tastic videos. I'll see you in the next video.